Welcome to the future home of the Early Education Center. We're gonna take you behind the fence for a sneak peek with this exclusive hard hat tour. Let's go. Workers busy building a creative learning space from scratch. What you see here will be completely transformed in a short time so that every student has a magical experience. Katie Lawson is the director of the Early Education Center, which will give students a solid foundation for learning. We want to make sure that we're providing students the opportunity to really have the most well-rounded experience so they have that social, the emotional, and some of those pre-academic skills. For architects... I would have given anything to go to school like this. Designing means seeing everything through the eyes of a child. It's about that wonderment and discovery and being able to excite them about their education. A magical experience begins the moment you walk in the door. Once you journey through that reception and into the facility, it's about that wow moment, or as I call it, the Instagram moment, where a kid can take their picture on their first day in a sailboat, and it's this exciting moment of entering their learning environment. The center also transforms education, offering kids opportunities to be creative, interact, and learn. Over here is Blue Pod, and you'll find a lot of different amenities in this, whether it's a small nook for kiddos to be pulled out of the classroom. We wanted this to be a literacy-rich environment. This will be a classroom for about 20 early learners. They'll have anything from all of their cubby spaces. Each classroom has a bench seat somewhere. It's kind of a de-escalation zone. We'll have interactive technology. Playgrounds are secured with fencing, ensuring a safe environment for children to play. The center is scheduled to welcome special education students in January, then pre-K students in August of 2021, accommodating more than 900 students in all. The goal with this building from the get-go is that anything we're going to do for the special education population is going to be for everybody else. You design for them and it works for everyone, and that way you're creating an equitable and fair environment for all. Transforming a blank space into a magical place.